Welcome to Me, Myself, and I Radio with Anthony Hayes. And now, here's Anthony. Good morning, good afternoon, hip hip hooray, me, myself, and I Radio tribe. Welcome to 5-Minute Fridays, your weekly dose of inspiration or analyzation before you head into your weekend. I hope you guys have had a lovely week so far. I'd like to talk to you today about self-awareness. Self-awareness is a conscious knowledge of one's own character, feelings, motives, and desires. In a sentence, the process can be painful, but it leads to greater self-awareness. Now, I don't know about you, but I can relate to that because I've gone through a lot of pain and obstacles and stuff in my past, and it just led to a better self, a better knowledge of self. In fact, it wasn't up until recently when I was talking to a friend and they had mentioned that I am very self-aware. I tend to know what I'm going through, when I'm going through it, and I try to analyze those processes, those emotions, as they arise. Admittedly so, sometimes I do this better than others, but nevertheless, I'm more than more than aware of what's going on in my own mind and in my own consciousness. You know, the great thing about self-awareness is that it allows you to understand other people. Now, it starts inward, but it expends itself at, well, outward, you see. With self-awareness, you have a clear perception of your personality, your strengths, your weaknesses. And boy, am I aware of my weaknesses. But I'm also trying to work on them at the same time. I'm pretty much at the point right now where you can't tell me something I don't know about myself. Whereas in the past, it was easy to, for somebody to call my attention to my own shortcomings. And what does that do in return? It makes you self-conscious, less self-aware. It kind of leads you to take a step back in your process. But the more you know about yourself, the more you will know about the world around you and the elements that make up the universe. I usually say how much we can learn from other people about ourselves. But the same is true about knowing ourselves in order to know other people. It kind of sounds contradictory, but there's a balance. And you have to adapt back and forth in between these processes, depending on the situation that you're in. The good thing about being self-aware is you know how to relate to other people. Because you can put yourself in their shoes, especially if you've been there. So I urge everybody out there today to become self-aware, to become more self-aware. This could be something as simple as making a list of your strengths and your weaknesses. Knowing what they are. You're halfway there. All you have to do from this day going forward is to work on them just a little bit each day to strengthen your weaknesses and to use your strengths as building blocks to make your shortcomings that much more balanced. Studying psychology has helped a lot on this process for me. Talking to doctors, reading books, analyzing the human psyche altogether has led to a greater awareness of my own self-awareness. The more we know about the mind and how it works, the more we are able to understand the processes that our own mind makes. So I urge everyone out there, become more self-aware today. To have a better tomorrow. This has been 5 Minute Fridays. Thanks so much for tuning in. And as always, at the end of every show, I'd like to urge you, no matter what the rest of your day brings, control the controllable. As for the rest, keep on flowing and just be. Thank you for listening to Me, Myself, and I Radio with your host, Anthony Hayes. (laughs) 